Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, Big Granny 0 here on how to create a, um, ads on paint.net for Roblox. Uh, so I'll be going through this real quick. Uh, I already made a tutorial for this, but it wasn't that great and I made a lot of mistakes in my ad. So we're creating a long type of ad. It's a rectangular ad. It's very long, but it doesn't. it's not very wide. Make sure to download these from Roblox. I'm not exactly sure where to find them because it, it, Roblox has changed a ton ever since I've been active on it. So since we have our little ad right here, which is the correct size, so I'm just gonna quickly erase, let's make this a little bit bigger. Why did I do that? Okay, erase this all. So we have a background layer. So let's go down to two. So we have a background layer. Um, again, you can customize this, whatever you want. I also recommend getting the Mega Effects download for Paint.net. And I have a tutorial, or I'm going to make a tutorial on how to transfer that to Mega Effects Paint.net. I believe that's what it's called. <laughs> Mega Low Effects. Okay. It basically has a bunch of plugins. It will slow down your Paint.net and it uses more resources, but this gives you a ton of. Um, plugins and what you want to do is you go to paint.net wherever that file is oh it a file so I'm gonna have to go to my computer I believe it's on my C drive program files times 96 or 86 uh, wherever paint.net is paint.net paint.net see if, okay it's in here so paint.net and what you want to do is go to FX. So you download that, whatever it is, have it open on your desktop, whatever. So let's go to desktop. I'm uploading a video right now. So you go to desktop or wherever you want to put it and this insert this somehow into the FX folder. Or you can do it through here too, I believe. So this will download all kinds of effects into your um, paint.net. Uh, some of these may be considered a virus. They aren't though. I have ignored and it just went uh, really crazy on me. No, Norton's not that great though. That's why I did it. So, next, so to the actual ad part, once you got your plugins downloaded, or you can do this, do this without plugins, you know, you can do this whatever you want. It's your ad. So, this is just a little tutorial on how to make good ads and some tips I have. Uh, I'm not the best at doing these, but let's just go for it. So for a background, I usually go with a fire. So we'll just do this, and then we can make it whatever color we want by changing the hue a bit. Let's go with like a nice. Ooh, this all looks nice, by the way, guys. Let's go with this nice red, which is like what I like doing. Um. So what now? We have our background layer. So our background's not that great. This is just a layer. So let's add a glow to it to make this look. Uh, like it's actually glowing on our screens and let's turn it down a little bit because it looks a little bit intense uh, And it also adds a little bit of blur to it. So that looks pretty cool um, It like, actually looks all right. It looks a little bit distorted a little bit, but whatever you guys want and then We want to fade the edge a little bit to make it look transparent on the sides So add a little bit of detail to it if this thing loads, okay, so with all the way up then just do a little bit you don't want to make it too intense and then also render lens flare I don't recommend doing this with other layers it doesn't really work too well so do this one and then your intensity we don't want to make this too intense and then move this around you don't actually notice it's kind of tearing to that transparency part so we want to expand that all the way So it doesn't tear for the screen. Okay, it's still tearing. All right, let's scratch that. Since we have a transparent layer in the background, then we don't want to do that, even though it looks cool. Okay, you you don't want tearing to be noticeable. It's it looks bad. So next, we want to add some additional layers and details. So let's add a little bit of a hexagonal grid to it. Yeah, hexagonal. Whoopsie. Okay. I want this to be fairly large, so they're nice and sharp. So that's pretty good size for it. And an anti-aliasing that makes it look a bit better, as you can see. Um, transparency, let's turn that down to 90. 
that way it doesn't cover the whole image and it's not too distracting then we go to layers and then also turn it down a little bit here okay no we don't need that okay so let's add a little bit of more stuff to it so let's make them glow gives it a little bit of a blurring effect and you can also add blur if you want to okay let's see how that looks actually let's try it out it actually looks kind of cool add some blur to it let's just add some very minor blur to it so it looks like it's like defocusing kind of and next um, what I recommend doing is that I don't really like them when they're covering the whole image so what we want to do is kind of get rid of some of them so they only appear yeah it looks alright so next we want to add some lens flare lens flare pretty much looks good for all of your images I recommend doing them so we could go down all the way here until you oh they're like why was I saying l lens flare I'm sorry guys and then so you want to do this and then do that make them nice and transparent or whatever you want to do and these are affected by your color wheel so if you want to do red and white you can do red and white but we're gonna do black and white and this isn't that many rays so let's turn that up a little bit let's do 100 eh, we're a little bit big still let's do 150 okay yeah it looks good it, it makes this cool little thing and you can also change the position of it too as well sorry if I'm losing my voice a little bit and next we add another layer let's think of any other details to add as well um, I think that'll be it for now so next uh, you want to advertise your place or product wherever you're doing this for um, you can also add like characters and stuff so we, we, we want to use a cool text that I call infected sounds like a virus but it isn't so we use that and then make this a little bit larger so let's type our name here again this is completely up to you guys it doesn't matter what you do um, Okay, so we have Big Granny right here, and you see how it's a little bit hard to see, and it doesn't look that great, because it doesn't really have any much, that much detail. So we go to Outline, since it's kind of small, we want to make this not as intense, I give it some white. Yeah, that, that looks pretty sick. And to make this look like it's actually glowing with light around it, let's give it some glow. Look at how cool that looks zoom in for you guys it gets a little bit pixely so that's what it looks like alright so now that we have like our name printed or what we wanted to do uh, what was I gonna do next here's a little trick I want to show you guys this this takes forever to do but it looks so awesome okay so I recommend if you have DPI buttons on your mouse you lower your DPI because it's gonna have to be really accurate and I'll pause the video right now or right after this so um, you can do it better and so the video is not as long <clears throat> sorry okay so we have to get to the appropriate size and then what you want to do is create another layer and then this is how you create a really cool glowing effect for your text and I also have this in another tutorial that's more detailed so we just choose oh that's horrible so just choose like a color you want to do and I'm just gonna like make random colors you know and just do that actually I can finish this fairly quickly without pausing the video and I recommend you do yours more accurate and change the sizes and stuff because I'm just doing this as a quickie it's not gonna look too great but I'll show you what it looks like quick fairly quickly um, what color have we not? We haven't used the yellow yet. Why did we forget the yellow? And then we do an end with the green. Okay, that's it's not gonna look that great, but we'll try it. So next is to add some blur to it. Gaussian blur, which is what I recommend. I, I should have zoomed in for you guys. Sorry. And then keep going until you have like a nice glowing. I mean, look at how awesome that looks. Seriously, guys. Okay, so next. And then you can customize the Gaussian Blur however you want it. I made mine pretty intense. And if you if you if if your colors look too saturated, you can turn them down a bit. Um, I would like to turn them down a little bit. And another thing you can do. Sorry, I forgot. 
is you can change the mode of the layer so you can like make it not look like it's glowing or make it bright whatever you want so now that we have that down and we have like a cool text with it and <laughs> one more thing is that you can also rotate it but I don't recommend doing it with this glow effects because then you have to rotate two layers and it's going to be a pain so next let's add our other layer and let's say we have a place called like uh like I don't know, kill noobs for fun. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, kill noobs for fun. Um, maybe we want to change text a little bit, but maybe not so. Okay, so we want to kill noobs for fun. So we want to make this a little bit smaller, unless you want to make it nice and long, whatever you want to do. Kill noobs for fun. And now the glowing effect, I don't think it's really necessary for this because it's small text. Um, so let's give it, go ahead and give it a rotate. Make it look 3D. Again, this is going to make the text look a bit small, so let's zoom in a little bit. This is, a, this is getting a little bit advanced, guys, so you can skip these steps if you want. Uh, preserve background. Uh no. Ugh, that's gross. Okay. It does get a little bit cut off, but it's reasonably easy to read. Kill noobs for fun. Let's go ahead and add a layer to that. And with the object thing, you can. Okay, let's redo that because we don't want we don't want our text looking the same with the, the outline. So let's go ahead and like give it a new color. Let's give it a nice yeah. Let's give it a nice blue. And then we add a glow to that. Uh, no no no. I am very tired right now. Give it a nice glow. Maybe we want to make this less intense or whatever we want to do. Kill noobs for fun. Alright, so that looks pretty sweet. It is a little bit cut off, but you guys can move it to wherever you want. To your preference. Okay, so. Da da da. So we're pretty much done now. So we can add a couple extra things to this. Oh, let's add a drop shadow. These things are amazing. Make it look like it's, give it like a shadow or something. Oh yeah, let's give it a little bit of a shadow. You can change the opacity of it, Ugh, that looks gross. And then, there we go, we have a drop shadow as well. All right, next, create another layer. Um, Let's actually move this layer down so it doesn't cover our text, which would look kind of bad. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, let's save this first. That way we don't, yeah, save often, by the way, guys. Because sometimes Paint.net will crash on you, especially with these plugins. And then you're like, ah, I did this for 20 minutes and it crashed on me. And it's going to get really frustrating. So let's save this. Uh, YouTube test, one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we have that done and. This is the scratch effect. This doesn't look good sometimes, but I'm just going to show it to you guys. Um, splatter, that's what it's called. Not the scratch effect. It looks like scratches. Uh, splat size, let's let's turn up the swing a little bit. Uh, let's make this transparent. Otherwise, it'll look bad. Okay, black, and then, yeah, transparent. Okay, uh, check down the size. Da 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 da. And just splatter whatever you want all over the place to make it look like it's scratched up so it adds a little bit of detail to it you won't see it that well but it does make it look a little bit better because it, it looks like a legitimate image instead another thing I would like to show you guys is I believe it's called star this might be it okay yep this is the right one so this is a random Google image I, I found. This looks horrible, by the way. But watch I, what I can do with it. Um, keep canvas size. Okay. So it, it looks fairly cool by itself, doesn't it? But once I expand this, it look a little bit distor uh, distorted because, um, you know, it's it's a tile image, so it's trying to overlap each other. So now that we have this actually looks cool by itself but we don't want people to notice some mistakes or make it look bad in a way 
if that makes sense. Okay, so what we want to do is add some glow to that to make this th uh, make these stars look a little bit cooler. And that really didn't do much to it, but it did something. And then we want to make this transparent. So it yeah, let's put 120. Let's see what. No, 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 no. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. And then this is optional. Uh, add an outline to it. Uh, mm, wait. Do I want to add an outline? Okay, let's put it as white. So let's let's zoom out all the way so it looks like what it'll actually look like on a person's screen on Roblox. And yeah, that looks pretty darn sweet, guys. I'm proud of what I made. Um, so yeah, I recommend also putting Google Images on there. Uh, I, most of the time, they probably won't look right, but if you add some special effects to it, they'll actually look pretty cool. Um, I also recommend if you use the stars that I use, just rotate them because, you know, it kind of looks like a tile because this repeats, this repeats, and somewhere over here. Sorry, that repeats. Dang, that looks pretty cool, though. So next we want to save our image. I recommend saving it as paint.net first, and then we want to call it as version 2 of our random blob number mess, and then uh, make sure to save this as PNG. That way it is transparent, and that will save you lots of troubles, and then you can see my random pictures there. So PNG makes it transparent. It's also really good quality, and then put your quality on 100%. Why wouldn't you want 100% quality? Yes. And then 32-bit, 24-bit, 8-bit, which will just make it look really bad. So just put it on auto detect. It should work properly. Defaults. Okay. So we click OK. Yes. Flatten. So it transfers properly. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helped you out. Um, this is a little bit more advanced than my uh, other tutorial. You can check out that one as well if you're uh, not so advanced. I mean, this is still pretty simple. I have advanced with paint.net and I really like this ad. Uh, <laughs> wow. Imagine this ad as like your own place. Like, like uh, let's say like Shark Bake 1, 2, 3. And then like uh, Fun War Place Kill People stuff. <laughs> I don't even know on the text that said. That'll look pretty cool and then it looks all different. Yeah, use your own colors. I would say this matches pretty well. Well, it doesn't really match. It just looks cool. I really like that glow effect. I can't stop looking at that. That will really attract a lot of attention to, for you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helped you out quite a bit, and I hope you get better at creating ads. Uh, this should help out your places a lot, and then people will say, hey, you have a good ad, or this ad looks good, or... Even then, they'll be like, oh, this ad is very attractive. I'm going to click it and see what this person's, like, advertising. So, anyways, please give this video a like. I encourage it. Or dislike it if it didn't help you or whatever you want. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you like. I have plenty of other tutorials and gaming and, all, uh, and stuff out there. Um, yeah. Also, don't forget to favorite and... Share this video if you'd like as well. See you guys later. And I hope this helped you out. And yeah.